bruise. Independent beer companies are popping up all over and not just in the city. CBS 2's Andrew Grimes shows us what's brewing in the suburbs. From New Jersey to Long Island to Westchester, the suburbs are booming when it comes to the business of craft beer. We've been open here for about a year, and I think we've done about 47 different styles. At Yonkers Brewing Company on Main Street. This allows us to, to take a nice sample of it. You're looking at a Belgian summer blonde from brewer Sharif Taleb. Oh, wow. Yeah, some nice tropical fruit from yes. the hops that we're using. It's just one of the latest blends in the making at the brewery behind their restaurant. Every day, something new. It's always a bit of an adventure. Co founders Nick Califano and John Rubo, both Yonkers natives, have definitely noticed the increased popularity. That's a variety, you know, you get different tastes. Of drinking craft or smaller batch independent brews compared to big commercial beers. Millennials are now, this is their beer of choice. Uh, it's something that they go out and they drink a craft beer, they drink a local beer, they want to know what's local. The New York State Brewers Association says the number of Empire State breweries jumped from 95 in 2012 to about 240 today. In New Jersey, the Garden State Craft Brewers Guild says there are about 43 and another 40 expected to open in the next two years. How much grain do you go through? A lot. New Jersey Beer Company in North Bergen was the first craft brewery to open in Hudson County. Chairman Paul Silverman. To have this, this uh, in the suburbs is, is it's fun for people to do. It's a, an activity and it's something to be able to be proud of to say, hey, that beer I'm drinking is from New Jersey. 900 different establishments sold New Jersey Beer Company's beer last year. All of it made right here. All of it by these two brewers behind me. Oh, it's fantastic. You get a great feeling when uh, you see be your beer out there and uh, people drinking it and enjoying it. They believe the taste and the carefully selected ingredients keep people coming back for craft, helping to prove why the taps in our area don't seem to be drying up anytime soon. Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. That Great to see good, that. Yeah, it really. Wow. You have no Nicely idea. Done. Nicely done. <laughs> and they say it's a real distinct good. flavor depending on which, yeah. which uh, brew you drink. So Apparently, Chris needs a beer. <laughs> That's a place I